Susan Floyd Snell from Singapore. Uh, she's an ordained minister of the Assembly of God. And uh, she actually committed her life to the Lord in one uh, Dr. Billy Britton's crusade. And she received a call to serve the Lord uh, in 2004. And she was uh, serving in the AIM Church along with Dr. Stian Marcy Wood for a while. And she now, um, from since uh, 2008, she is uh, having her ministry, the Touch Bearers. And she has a special ability to see people uh, set free from uh, the strongholds of uh, darkness so that they can rise and shine for Jesus. So let's put our hands together and welcome this Pastor Susan Hill. Actually, just a correction. I received my call in 1993, and uh, it was in a very, very unlikely place in a in a meeting, is a missions meeting, a missions conference in a hall. And I received a call, my call through a prophetic word. Um, God is a humorous God sometimes, you know. He does things that is just out of the box. How many of you know that? Yeah. If you haven't experienced that, I, I urge you to have a paradigm shift today. Um, the, what happened was that about 3 a.m. I was having a, an argument with God. I was telling God that there are many suitable candidates, many willing candidates, and many obedient candidates. Why would you, God, want somebody who is unwilling, rebellious, and somebody who is disobedient? I'm sure, God, there are there are many out there. So stop looking at me, look somewhere else. And I gave God the reasons why he should call me. And um, later on, during worship, prophetic words were released, and God gave me the reason why he should call me. And here I am. And I have never looked back. I have never looked back uh, since I received the call, because the greatest thing in our lives Dear sisters, is to know him, is to love him, is to serve him, isn't it? Many people on this earth look for a fulfilling life, for a purposeful life, for a meaningful life. And I find no greater purpose, no greater meaning than in the service of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I come humbly before you. Please do not look to a man or a woman for your feeding this afternoon. I come, I just say to God, God, what would you want to say to these people? What would you want to impart to them? I want my desire this afternoon is for each and every one of you to go back with the impartation of the Holy Spirit, with the impartation of the knowledge of God. Shall we pray? Father, I just want to thank you. Indeed, Lord, you have blessed us with so many wonderful things, Lord. We want to thank you because, God, quite a number of times, God, we don't see it, we don't notice it, we don't receive it, and, Lord, we neglect it. But today, God, you are doing a new thing. And today, you are going to put the new wine in the new wine scheme and help us, oh God, to throw away things in our life that are old wine scheme things in our life that needs changes yes. because God, this is a year of a new way. Yes. This is a year Lord, of you doing new things in our life, God. And Father we do not want to quench the Holy Spirit. We do not want to quench your work in our life. We want to be willing vessels. We want Lord, to empty ourselves, Lord, so that you may fill us, Lord. And we want, Lord, to bring many, many vessels before you, not just a few vessels to be filled by you, O oh God. Today, Holy Spirit, we just ask you to fill us all oh, to the brim, to overflowing, that our life will become such a living epistle, O oh God, that our life, O oh God, will just shine for you. And when people come in contact with us, they want to know, what is it that we have? That they could have. Oh Lord, I just pray, oh God, today let faith arise and may we act upon what you have given to us. And Father, I pray, oh God, 
the today, oh God. Oh, wash over us. Oh, Spirit of the living God, regenerate us, re-energize us, revitalize us, us and revive us. Oh, today, we need a revival. May our hearts cry be. I want a revival. Woman, start to tell God, God, what do you want me to have this year? Oh, start to talk to God. Do you want a revival? Did you come here just for a message? Oh, did you come here? God, I want you so badly. I want something from you. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out now, even as we will come together. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As each and every one of this woman seated here, Lord, crying out to you, God. Right now, God, do your work, Lord. Do your mighty work of release. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we thank you and we praise you. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ in this place. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over the night. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my voice. And in each and every one of our hearts, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ. And we just ask you, Lord, that you will send your angels to seal this place. We just ask you, Lord, right now, oh, you will release our will to receive your word. In Jesus' name, I command every person's will to be released until my message is finished. So that they can receive the words of God for them and the promise of God for them. And Lord, I just ask you, Lord, that you take away all tiredness, fatigue, distraction, diversion, that unbelief and skepticism. Because it is your word. And your word is life. Your word is spirit. And we want to thank you. And let's let all God's amen and say, Amen. 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 Praise God. Yes. Aren't you glad you're here? I am very glad I'm here. Tell your neighbor, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. And look, look at them in their eyes. You know, you must smile when you say, I'm glad that you know you're here, right? Praise God. Yes, you must be glad. Because you know why? It's wonderful to be away from your children this afternoon. It's wonderful that we women can gather together. You know, I, I'm very glad. This is my first time in JB. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't come to JB for shopping. And I, I, I want to give special thanks to uh, my sister here, Pastor Elizabeth, for being so kind to tell me how to get here and send me all the way here. She is an angel for now. Okay. Yes, and I want to thank um, Sister Indra James for the invitation and I want to thank each and every one of you for turning out because I'll be speaking to empty chairs if you don't turn out. Praise God! Today my message is Arise and be in position. Actually, why should we be in position? You know what's the meaning of Arise, right? Arise simply means arise, to rise up, to awake, to get up, right? And um, arising means to move from a position to another position. Simple. If you are asleep, you arise, get up, right? So in in Ephesians, actually, um, in Ephesians uh, for uh, five fourteen, uh, we see that. The word of God says, but you know, we need to arise, O oh sleeper, arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. And then there again, this is uh, taken from Isaiah chapter 16. Arise, shine, for your light comes, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness covers is over all the people, but the Lord rises upon you rises upon you and it's very important for us ladies to know that there is a need for us to arise this year uh, whatever your year has been in 2010 this is 2011 you need to arise let your past be your past you can't change your past if last year you were supposed to finish one year planning in reading the word of God, you know, and you didn't finish, you just finished maybe 60%. Well, never mind, just finish the next 40% this year. And if last year you have been plagued with sickness, affliction, illnesses, problems, 
whatever your your life may be. You can change the past, but you can pray prophetically into the future. How many of you know that? You can pray prophetically into the future and declare that the future and the plans of God are meant to prosper you. He has a future for you. He has hope for you. How many of you agree?